Let's take a look at how you can use Choice Eliminator to manage forms with a limited sign up or availability option. So there's, there's a lot of examples of how uh, you might use Choice Eliminator. A really common one is parent-teacher conferences. Okay, So you have um, a list of times that you are available to meet with parents. You want to send this form to a parent and you want them to be able to pick the time, but you don't want to have to sit there at your computer all day and as soon as you know Mrs. Jones picks April 15th at 10 a.m., you'd have to delete that from the form so that you know, the next person doesn't pick the same time. That is what Choice Eliminator will do for you. It eliminates choices once they have been selected. Now, Choice Eliminator is an add-on. The first thing you're going to need to do is install the add-on for your form. So you're going to go to the uh, snowman, top right corner of your form, and you're going to click the add-on puzzle piece. Now, Choice Eliminator will be in here. We'll search for it. Now, one just quick word of warning. Um, you may need to ask your IT administrator to enable Choice Eliminator for your use. Uh, Google's changed how they handle add-ons, and if you are in a business or school environment, G Suite, uh, for education or business, um, someone will need to approve these before you'll be able to use them. You can try it. It'll work or it won't, and uh, you'll have to email uh, your IT person. So there are actually two um, versions of Choice Eliminator. We're going to talk about both of them. There's Choice Eliminator Lite and Choice Eliminator 2. Now, Unless you have very specific uh, needs in a situation, generally speaking, you're going to get a better experience by using Choice Eliminator Lite. Um, if you have a simple form, like I just outlined, pair teacher conference, you're just going to, someone picks it, you want it to delete it, Choice Eliminator Lite is the best choice. Choice Eliminator 2 provides some additional features that are helpful in particular circumstances. Um, the example that I'm going to give you here today is, let's say that you ordered t-shirts. You have uh, 25 small, 25 medium, 25 large, and so on. You don't want to eliminate the choices after one person has selected. You want to eliminate them when 25 people have selected that option. If that is a scenario that you are working in, then you're going to want to look at Choice Eliminator 2. Again, I'll demo both and uh, walk you through the difference and the reasons uh, why you might use one over the other. Go ahead and install uh, one or both of those. Um, they'll get added to your form. And let's go back to our Google Form. Now, if you want to practice using Choice Eliminator, you can use the demo form that you see on my screen right now. So I will leave the link to this demo form in the description for the video. Click on that link, you'll make a copy of my example, and you'll be able to set up Choice Limiter just like you see me doing here. So let's go to this first uh, scenario here, this first set of questions. So these are my parent-teacher conference sign-up. You're going to list your times and everything. Now there's one very important thing that you want to do. You want to use the drop-down question when you use choice eliminator okay drop down not the multiple choice multiple choice and drop down are basically the same in that they only allow a user to select one of the available options but just because of how google processes form submission data you're going to get a much more reliable result by using the drop down question uh, as a compared with the multiple choice so pay attention to that um, uh, you'll see a warning in uh, Choice Eliminator when we open it up here in just a second. So you're going to create your form, you're going to put your options in however you'd like them to be listed, and then let's go ahead and set up Choice Eliminator. So we're going to go up to the top of the screen. You should now have the little puzzle piece here. Those are my, These are all my add-ons. I'm going to start with Choice Eliminator Lite. So I'm going to click on there. Now, occasionally I get this issue. Uh, there should be a button here that says uh, configure. And I don't know why, but sometimes it doesn't appear. Just do a refresh and it seems to pop up for me. I don't know if it'll happen to you. It's happened to me a few times uh, so far. So let's go to back, choice eliminator, light, and voila, there we go. There's our configure button. So this is going to open up the choice eliminator menu. It's super easy. It's really not complicated at all. Now, these little warning messages and uh, tips right here, these are very, very helpful. I would encourage you to read them. That will help you understand what Choice Eliminator is doing and avoid um, unexpected results. This is basically telling you to use drop downs instead of multiple choice like I just recommended. 
So it's going to list my available questions right here, okay? Now, if you have other types of questions in your form, free response, short answer, things like that, those are not going to be recognized by Choice Eliminator. So these are the ones that we can work with. Let's go to our available times. And all you have to do is click the Eliminate Choice checkbox. And so that will monitor the submissions. Once someone picks April 15th, Choice Limiter will remove it from the list. Let's go down to the second one here. So um, the second example I'm throwing, let's, uh, let's say you're throwing an end of year party and um, you're asking for parents to volunteer to bring items to the party. So juice boxes, bottled water, forks, plates, balloons, etc. Okay, same thing. This is a drop down list and I want one person to pick each one and then eliminate it so that the list will get smaller as people volunteer to bring things. Same thing, I'm going to go to my party supplies and I'm going to click eliminate choices. Now there is one little trick here that uh, you may see that I did. If you need more than one person to bring something, like I have cupcakes listed twice. So you're going to list the same thing multiple times because remember we're using the drop down option and choice limiter is just going to delete it each time. So I'm just putting balloons one, balloons two. So that's the first person who's bringing balloons, the second person that's bringing balloons. So this list might be a little longer initially, but again, as people make their selections, uh, they will be eliminated from the form. Now I've got one more example to walk you through and then we'll uh, test this out, make sure it works. Here's my t-shirt example that I referenced a little bit earlier. So I've got extra small, small, medium, large, and I've got all the different sizes. Once the sizes are gone, that's all we have. Now, I don't want to eliminate this once a single person has made a choice. I want to eliminate it when 25 people have uh, made their choice. So for this question, I need to use Choice Eliminator 2. I'm going to go back up to my add-ons. I'm going to click Choice Eliminator 2. Configure, same thing. But this is going to give me some additional options. So I'm going to go to that um, final question there. And this does a lot more calculations. So Choice Eliminator 2 actually waits for the results to be posted to the Google Sheet. It runs calculations and then feeds those calculations back to the form to determine if it's time to eliminate the choices or not. It's a much more complex process, and so there are some potential issues that can happen. And so unless you need the multiple selection feature, you want to use Choice Eliminator Lite. I'm going to skip the first two because we did those with Choice Eliminator Lite. Let's go to uh, shirt size. I'm going to click Eliminate Choices. Looks the same, but then I'm going to click the little gear, the little fidget spinner to customize this rule. Now you can tell it's doing a lot of stuff in the background to the Google Sheet, creating lots of calculations. And if you use Choice Eliminator 2, very important that you read through the documentations. There's some um, very specific things you need to do to make sure you get your intended results. So here it is right now. Initially it's set up with your normal numbers. Um, we're going to go ahead and change this and say we have 10 of each. So Choice Eliminator will not remove any of these sizes from the form until 10 have been selected. Now I'm going to leave extra small at one just so we can confirm that it's working. I don't want to have to fill my form out uh, 10 times. Once uh, something has been eliminated, once all of these things have eliminated, then it'll just say no more options. Okay. There's several things you can do. This is a little more advanced. If you need to reset your form, um, you can Come in down here to this little green button. Uh, click this uh, right here to restore the choices. It'll pull them back in um, so that you can kind of reset the counts if you need to do it again. All right, let's uh, go ahead and close that. Saves automatically. Close that. And let's view our form. Okay, so we're going to go to the, the eyeball. Click on that. So let's go ahead and pick just the first option. So we're going to pick the 10 a.m. time slot. We're going to pick the juice boxes. And we're going to pick an extra small t-shirt. And I'm going to click Submit. Now, this is very important. It takes roughly two seconds for Choice Eliminator to run and remove the selections from the form. You can potentially get yourself in trouble if you have a whole bunch of people taking the form at the same time. There's not enough time in between the submissions for the choices to be eliminated. Um, one thing that you can do to prevent that 
is by removing this submit another response button. It would be potentially possible for me to submit my first response and then the next person to click very quickly and get back into that. So one way that you can eliminate that is by going to your form. We're going to click on the gear, go to um, presentation, and uncheck this box that says show link to submit another response. That just makes it a little bit more work to, to get back to the form, which will give Choice Eliminator more time to run the calculations and do what it needs to do. Now, I've been sitting here uh, talking for the next, last you know 30 seconds, so we should be good. Let's see if it worked. We're going to click Submit Another Response. And let's see. We should The first thing we should see here is the 1030 time slot. Oh, there we go. So good deal. It eliminated the 10 a.m. time slot. Uh, we selected juice boxes. So now that is eliminated. And we should no longer see the extra small option for our shirt sizes. Voila. Now this one here, if I pick small, the, the total quantity would be reduced by one. It would go down to nine, eight. And eventually, once all 10 are exhausted, uh, small would be removed from um, the form as well. Choice Limiter is a great tool anytime you have limited resources, whether that's time or physical things that you need to track um, when people are, are selecting them. Um, recommend both Choice Eliminator Lite and Choice Eliminator 2. Make sure, again, you read through the documentation so you understand how it's working uh, so you can check that out. Again, you're welcome to use my demo. Uh, click the description for this video. You'll find an exact link to this form. You can make a copy of it, configure Choice Eliminator, and test it uh, for use.